So today I'll be showing you how to connect an external SSD to your iPad so you can transfer files, photos and videos to and from the iPad and the SSD. Now, if you have one of the newer SSDs, then you're going to have a Type-C port. And also if you have one of the newer iPads, they also have Type-C ports. So that should make your work extremely easy because all you have to do is connect the SSD with a Type-C connector directly to the iPad Type-C port. It's just like that. Now, when you connect, you're not going to hear any blipping sound. You're not going to see any pop-ups on your screen. It's just going to get connected. Now, some SSDs, especially the Samsung, obviously requires me to authenticate with my fingerprint, but that's uh, just for this particular SSD. Anyway, so once you connect, to check if it's connected, go to the files up on your iPad, this one right here, tap on it. And then on the left-hand side panel, you should see the name of your SSD. So for instance, as you can see, mine is called, this is a Samsung T7. And as you can see, it's right here. And if I tap on it, I can actually see the files and folders inside my SSD. So I'm just gonna authenticate with my fingerprint and now I'll be able to access everything inside that SSD. And here we have folders. So here we are, we have folders and you can get inside the folders, see pictures, watch videos. For instance, this is a video, I can even watch it. You can see it playing like that. So that's basically how to connect and actually access the files. Now, if I want to, I can copy files and uh, videos, photos to and from the SSD and the iPad. So let's say I want to copy a file. So if I come here and then go in here and then pick a file, let me try and find a smaller file to copy. Let's get in here and try and find something a little smaller. Like this one, okay? Now we're still inside the SSD. So if I want to copy this to the iPad, all I have to do is long press on it. And from the menu that pops up, you should see copy. So tap on that. And then you can go and select on my iPad. This takes you into your iPad memory. And here you can do anything. You can even create a new folder or even just paste it wherever you want. I'm just gonna open the downloads folder and try and paste it here. So if I long press on an empty space, I'll have the option to paste. And as you can see, that video has now been copied and pasted into the iPad's memory. So now, even if I disconnect, I have this file on the iPad, okay? Inside the downloads folder. Now I can also transfer photos and videos directly from the gallery or from the photos app into my SSD. So let me first create a folder. So you can see I tapped on the folder icon that created a brand new folder. Now I can rename that folder to, let's say, test photos like that. So that's my new folder, which I've created inside the SSD, as you can see the T7 touch. So now if I go to the gallery or the photos up out of my iPad. I can find photos and let's say I find photos like this one, this one's eh? If I find a photo like this one, all I have to do now is press and hold at the top of the photo and drag it. Now, once you drag it and you're holding it, you can now use the other finger to exit out of the gallery. So let me go back to the gallery view and in the gallery view, if I can just expand it and let's say it's this photo, instead of opening the photo first, just tap on it while it's still here in the gallery, long press on it. And now once you long press on it, and as you can see, it's now dragging, we can now exit and then open the files up and then navigate to your SSD even open a folder and then now you can release it there.
and that's going to copy that photo into that particular folder using drag and drop okay and you can even do this for multiple photos in the gallery so if you come here at the top and then tap on select and then select a couple of photos like that i've just selected uh nine photos so if you hold them like that it's going to hold all nine and then you can drag to the end and then use your other finger to swipe go back to your ssd and release there and that's basically copying using drag and drop it's basically quickly transferred photos from the ipad to the external ssd So that is basically how to connect your SSD to your iPad and transfer files. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.